Hello everyone. I have recently posted about the fact that some organizations are looking for good projects to fund. At the same time, there are organizations who can't seem to get fund for their projects. And there are a number of factors, and, and this is a reality, I mean, you know, in the development sector. Now, uh, some, some of you may think, uh, well, maybe the proposals, those organizations looking for fund, uh, are not of high quality. I mean, the proposals they are submitting, maybe not great quality. That's true only partly, because you may write a great proposal, but if your project is not something that is good enough, if it doesn't look like the right project, or if the funding organization does not see that as something that aligns with their priorities, their organizational strategic objective, they are unlikely to find that, fund that. Uh, and there can be other reasons. For example, they are looking for innovative solutions and you submit something that seems like not enough innovative, so they may not fund you. At the same time, there can be situations where you actually have a great project idea, but your proposal is not presented well. I mean, you know, you did not articulate the project and the proposal well, so maybe that's why they are not funding it. So there can be a number of factors and uh, what you need to consider is that this, these two main things, I mean the project needs to be something that is sound, the uh, logic, the objective of the project, the scope of the project, those need to be well defined like how you do the project, what would be the impact. For example, if you use a simple uh, tool that is very familiar in development sector called logical framework matrix or log frame matrix, you will see that, that this simple tool actually have a good summary of the project and you know if, if you prepare one there are other things to do like first starting with the problem analysis or known as a tool known as problem tree. Now if you did a problem tree which is problem analysis, you actually have a better idea of what, what are the related problems and then you develop the objective tree which is also known as objective analysis. In the objective analysis, you kind of turn the problems into positive and from the objective analysis, you actually pick something that you are taking within your project and some of the things you are leaving outside the scope of your projects. And later after that, you actually develop the logical framework matrix. Now if you use tools like this, then your proposal can already impress the funding organizations. It's like, wow, these guys know what they're doing. They do have the knowledge and skills in project management. And of course, your proposal needs to be presented well. I mean, you know, in terms of writing, in terms of editing, in terms of uh, having the right tone. Because if you are just putting in lots of technical things, but it's not kind of convincing enough, persuasive enough, you may not be successful because Think about the purpose of the proposal. The purpose of the proposal is to get funds, right? So if that is the case, you are actually trying to persuade people. So there needs to be that element in your writing. But as I said, no matter how persuasive you are, if the project um, idea, the concept of the project itself is not good enough, um, the funding organization may not fund that. And if you think about it, uh, on another post I, I mentioned about like how many of you are clear about which sustainable development goal your project is contributing to. And interestingly, I mean, I think I got a reflection of reality. Some people said, yeah, I'm clear. Some people said, no, I don't know. Now, that's something very important because with the sustainable development goals well defined, targets well defined, indicators well defined, if you can link your projects to those sustainable development goals, it would be much easier to identify which donor you should apply to and also how your project is actually contributing to achieving that sustainable development goal. And this is really crucial because that actually instantly establishes the link is like if I'm if for example I'm a donor organization funding organization and my focus our focus is um, you know sustainable development goal for let's say quality education and if your project it, it, it is very clear to me how your project is contributing to this uh, sustainable development goal I'm more likely to read more ask for more information and be interested to fund that so 
keep these two things in mind. One is like you need to have sound project management knowledge and skills to make sure that you know you are addressing uh, the problem well, you are doing the right project, you are able to justify your project because in the PMD Pro which is a project management certification for the development sector and methodology uh, there is this concept about the tools, the principles and one of the disciplines which is the part of the tools is called justification management. That's simply about why should we fund your project? Like donor organizations would want to know why should we fund your project instead of another project in the similar area. So you need to be able to articulate the justification for your project, the benefits like to the beneficiaries, to the community and the impact you are making. Uh, you know, if your project is contributing to the education, the SDG on um, quality education, that's great. However, if another project is making a better impact, you know, reaching more people or making a bigger impact in terms of sustainability, in terms of the quality and other areas defined, then the funding organization is likely to fund that, that project. So even when you are writing well, even when you have used those tools well, you may still uh, not win the competition because it may be a competitive scenario. So don't lose heart if that is the case because there will be other opportunities. But if your proposal lacks the quality in terms of uh, the writing, in terms of the organization, then it may happen that you have a good project idea but you don't get funded. Or if your pro proposal is well, well presented but your logic of your project, the objectives, the link between activities and outputs, outputs and outcomes, outcomes and goals, are not clear or not well um, you know, thought through, then the experts who are going to evaluate your proposal would see that you probably do not have the understanding or have not analyzed it well or you know, something like that and they are unlikely to select your project for funding. So that's one. And uh, also, I think it is important about your past track record or to show the capability. So if you are writing a proposal, uh, the funding organization would want to see how your uh, organization would be able to implement such a project. You may write a great proposal, but in the team or proposed team, if you uh, propose people who may not look like they can uh, do the project well, implement the project well, then uh, the funding organization is unlikely to have the confidence that your organization would be able to um, implement this project well and that, that is a risk of failure. So make sure all these um, things are considered and then uh, submit the proposal, have some reviews in place and uh, you know if needed get some external reviews and maybe someone who has experience of evaluating proposals or writing successful proposals and things and um, then go for it so don't go for just bid and hope strategy which is like okay let's let's submit some bid and uh, you know we hope we would own we need because that simply doesn't work and Another tip is that uh, if needed, instead of going for five proposal and not doing a great job, uh, go for three. I mean, decide top targets like out of instead of going five small ones, go for three big ones. I mean, three big ones where you put in a lot of efforts. And, um, you know, I remember working on proposals for like two months and things because it was a top target. You know, we really wanted to win that and we did win that actually. So that sort of thing, I mean, you need to approach your uh, proposal writing and bidding for projects in a systematic way. I hope uh, you found that useful. Please comment below the video and I will I'll be happy to answer any questions you may have. And uh, hopefully I'll, I'll be uh, releasing some more videos on, on this topic uh, that you may find useful. But feel free to reach me and uh, I'll, I'll try to respond as soon as I can. Thank you very much.